Hey Mustangs, in this video we're going to do a quick overview of protein synthesis and its two steps, transcription and translation. Alright, so first of all, a quick over overview of the entire process. Now, protein synthesis is the process of reading the instructions in DNA and making a protein. Um, but it's actually broken in two steps, and if you remember, here's why. So let's take a look. Let's say this is a cell here. Okay, so we have a cell, and let's say here's the nucleus. Well, inside the nucleus is where we find our DNA. So that right there is DNA. And DNA has instructions for making proteins. Now, from the very first cell of ours until we die, the day we die, um, these instructions are constantly being read to make proteins all day long. So 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year for your entire life, the instructions in DNA for making proteins are being read. So there's our DNA instructions there. Now the place where we make the proteins are the ribosomes out in the cytoplasm. So out here, outside of the nucleus, this jelly-filled space is our cytoplasm and these are a whole bunch of ribosomes and these would normally be attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so here's our ribosomes here. This is where we make the proteins. So here's our instructions. Here's where we make the proteins. The DNA does not leave the nucleus and we need to make the proteins out here. So in order for us to be able to make a protein, um, we actually must make a copy of the instructions first. The copy can then leave and attach to a ribosome, and then the copy uh, instructions can be read and we can finally make our protein. Um, so protein synthesis can therefore be broken down into two steps before you actually make the protein. All right, so the two steps of protein synthesis are transcription and translation. Okay, now transcription always comes before translation. Um, one way to keep these straight, because they sound very similar to each other and students often mix them up. Um, if I said transcribe and translate on paper, you know, people could take DNA and do it that way, but they usually confuse the names. Um, so one way to remember which one comes first is just remember alphabetical order. Um, so if you were to put transcription and translation in alphabetical order, T-R-A-N-S-C comes before L. So transcription is always first and then translation. Okay. Now, transcription is the process of rewriting the DNA instructions into RNA um, because RNA can leave the nucleus and DNA can't. So we can simplify, or I like to call shorthand, um, the directions like this. So we start with DNA at the beginning of transcription we rewrite the DNA instructions into mRNA and that is transcription okay um, and another thing we've talked about is the fact that this part of the word here script is very important script means to write so transcription is rewriting the DNA instructions into mRNA okay um, and uh, it would look something like this so if you had G T C A G T. Okay, so let's say that's our DNA right there, and we know this is DNA because it has T's in it, no use. And if I said transcribe this DNA into mRNA, that means rewrite this DNA or these DNA instructions into mRNA, you would go, okay, G in mRNA would be a C, T would be an A, C would be a G. A would be a U, G would be a C, and T would be an A. So right there, we started with DNA and we rewrote it into mRNA. Okay, so that's rewriting the DNA instructions into mRNA. Um, so remember this shorthand, DNA arrow mRNA. It's going to help you answer a lot of questions if you know transcription like this. DNA rewritten into mRNA. All right, translation 
on the other hand. Um, this is the second step of protein synthesis, and it happens immediately after transcription. So transcription has to happen first. You can't translate without transcribing first. So transcription, then translation. And translation has its own shorthand as well. So if you remember mRNA, arrow, protein. Okay, so for translation, the mRNA is red to make a protein. So that's what the shorthand means here. mRNA is red to make a protein. Um, so we could take this right here. So the mRNA that we had was C-A-G-U-C-A. -A. Remember our good habits, so you should underline them like that. Okay, and what we did here is we underlined the codons in this mRNA. This codon is going to code for one amino acid. So if I bring this down here, it's going to code for an amino acid. So if you use your uh, translation chart, CGA codes for, and you put the amino acid it codes for. UCA codes for, and you put the amino acid it codes for. Okay, And by doing that, you have now read the mRNA instructions and start to build your protein. Okay, so that's transcription and translation. Okay, now three things that you should know for each one. Okay, if you can answer these three questions for transcription and then be able to answer these same three questions for translation, you're set. Um, so, what is it? So, what is transcription, what is translation? Uh, where does it happen? So you have to know where does transcription happen? Where does translation happen? Now there's a trick to remember where transcription happens. So if you remember transcription transcription is rewriting the DNA instructions into mRNA. So there's the script part, right? So transcription is rewriting the DNA instructions into mRNA. So DNA arrow mRNA. Okay. Well, if you're rewriting the DNA instructions into mRNA, think about this. Where is DNA found that it never leaves? Okay. So where is DNA found that it never leaves? And you'll always remember where transcription happens. Okay. Now you also have to know it for translation. So where does translation take place? Where do you build proteins inside the cell? Where, are pro where do proteins get put together? And then finally, what's made at the end? And again, going back to your shorthand, if you remember that transcription is DNA, arrow, mRNA, this tells you what's made. And if you remember, translation is mRNA, arrow, protein, this also tells you what's made at the end. Okay? Um, so it actually tells you um, what is being made if you remember the shorthand. Okay, so make sure you know these three things for transcription and translation both. Um, and when you're done watching this video, um, go ahead take a look at two short videos. One is on transcription. Uh, it's about a two-minute, three-minute video. And another um, video on translation, which is about four minutes. Okay, so um, take a look at those and see if that helps you um, understand anything that you may be a little bit confused on. Um, clarify uh, the information.